everyone. Wanted to share with you a project that I worked on last night. I used my AccuCut Castle Book number no. two die, and this die is really adorable. What I love is that it fits perfectly on a six by six paper pad, um, except for the last piece. And I'll show you how I added my design paper on that last piece. Um, but this is the front, and then this piece pops out. Really cute. And then there's this piece right here. And then we have this piece, and then this is the last piece. These two you can probably mix up. You can put this in the front, or you could put it in the back, either way. And it just creates a really adorable castle. Um, the paper collection that I used is by Pink Paisley. It's the Nantucket collection. It has a really cute um, beach um, summer feel to it. Really adorable. And then I love the ephemera pack. It has a lot of really wonderful die cuts in this pack. And there's a ton, as you can see. And then here's some. This umbrella one was my favorite. And the bicycle was really cute, too. Um, so let me share with you what I did here. I created actually two projects um, using this collection. So here's my album. And this is what I created. And I finally got to create an album of my girls in Hawaii. Um, my sister used to live in Hawaii, and we um, were really excited to be able to go there twice and visit her. And so um, I got to finally scrapbook the pictures of the girls at the beach. And um, so let me share with you. So I covered all the design paper on all the chipboard pieces and this is the cover here this is one of the die cuts I didn't do any distressing on the edges of this album because I wanted um, I love the paper and I didn't want it to look distressed and so I didn't distress any edges and so this says sun waves sand and then I add some iron roses here and this is one of the iron roses spray I add a one inch binding ring and some extra large white eyelets. And then I just add some white seam binding here on the side. And then on this page here, I just added a Iron Roses flower just to cover pretty much the die cut piece right here. And then here's the first page. So this is of Maddie. Um, she was um, making a sand castle. So I Put the umbrella next to her picture. I add an iron roses um, by her ear, and then here's some more iron roses flowers. I add some seashells, and then this trim I got from Arlene, and then I add this trim from Carla's, and I'll put Carla's thing down below. And then here's a die cut that's behind the photo that was from the ephemera pack, and then also the sentiment that says Sam Castle. And then the back of that is a picture of the beach that we were at in Hawaii and then this is one of the die cuts and then here's some trim here that I got from my mom I love this trim and then this is another one of the die cuts and then this piece right here I love this this is new from Prima it's the shabby chic treasures and then it came from this pack right here so I just used one and I just love it. It's really pretty. And then this page right here is Ashley. And then I add again some Iron Roses flowers, some of the Iron Roses crochet flowers that I layered with the S10 flowers. This is one of the die cut pieces. Laugh it up. And then this hot air balloon. And I put a dimensional underneath the hot air balloon to give it some dimension. And then this page is Ariana at the beach. And then this right here is another one of the Shabby Chic Treasures, which actually came from this pack. And it's really, really pretty. I love the flower here. And then some more Iron Roses flowers. And here's a turtle. And then it says Make Waves. And, you know, you can see the waves here in the picture. And then this picture is of Natalie. And I add some trim right here. This is a frog feathers flower, and I got this tip from Juliana. Hi, Juliana. She created these really beautiful centers 
that you can add to your flowers. And I'll put Juliana's link down below, so be sure to check out her video. I really love her idea of creating her centers. And then I add this die cut here, and then this fish. I add a dimensional sticker underneath the fish. And that's my album. Oh, and this one, because it's longer than um, a 6x6, six six, I had to cut the paper in half. And that's why I put this trim right here to cover that line. I originally bought a 12x12 12 12 paper of this design. But, you know, in the 12x12, 12 12, the image is a little bit larger. And it just didn't go really well with the other pages. So I just basically just cut it in half. And um, Cynthia had mentioned, hey Cynthia, on her video too, she had done an album where she also used a 6x6, but when you use embellishments or trims, you can always cover that piece um, if it's, you know, doesn't fully cover the die cut. Um, but which in my case was, it was just, it wasn't long enough, so I had to cut it. And where the cut was is where I put the trim. And it worked out really well. You can't even, you know, tell that, you know, it was two pieces of paper. And then I also do the same thing to the back. I basically covered it with Carla's trim right here. And then I add this die cut right here. And it worked really well. And so that's my mini album. It was really super fun um, to make. And I love this castle. It's just so adorable. And so I made that. And then to go with that... I use, again, the Shadow Box Portrait die. I love this die. Um, I'm actually going to get the, the Shadow Box Landscape die, too. And so I'll share with you some projects that I'll make with that die. Um, but this die is, I love it. You could do so many different projects with this die. And so I did um, this of my husband and Ashley. I love this picture of the two of them. So again, I used another one of the Shabby Chic Treasures. That, this square piece actually came from this pack. And then I just basically just add some of the die cuts here. And then some Iron Roses flowers. Here I add some more of Arlene's trim that she sent to me. And then Carla's flower trim right here. And then some seashells. And then here I, um, some die cuts that I just add some pop dots to the back to give it some dimension. And then some more of the S10 flowers. And then these are some Recollections pearls that I just add to the top right there and it just creates a really beautiful display so this coordinates with my album and it was really fun to make so I'll have all the information in the description box and thanks everyone for watching bye